You know, as I was thinking about what we might do with this post June 1st, 24 million, it hit me that the only reason we have this money is because Jimmy Garoppolo did PEDs. I forgot about that. He, this guy did steroids and he still sucked. A lot of Raider fans have been waiting for post June 1st so we can get this $24 million Jimmy Garoppolo money to add to our salary cap, to add to our pot, to look and get different guys, to sign some people to shore up the roster. And we have been speculating for a while who we should use this money on. And I made a video like this a couple years ago, and I still stand by this statement. And really quickly, before I get into the post June 1st money, I just wanna say this real fast. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. The only reason I'm asking and pushing so hard for that right now, something I usually don't do, you can go back and watch my other videos, is because we are close to 10K, and I wanna to get to 10K before week one, 2024, where we kick the Chargers ass, okay? We are 99 days away from Raider football, and if we can get to 10K in 99 days, we're gonna push this thing to the moon. You're gonna see me every single freaking day in June. I promise you that. Let's get the 10,000 subs. God bless. Let's get into it. I prefer to spend the money on proven commodities, not only in the free agent sphere, but people already on our team. So yes, while it would be good to get another corner, because I know that's what everybody clicking on this video expected me to say. And yes, I would like to get a Xavier Howard or a Stefan Gilmore or the kid from the Texans, or maybe just get a Justin Simmons just to screw the Denver Broncos even more. Those are all good options, and we can discuss those if you'd like. I mean, Xavier Howard is probably the best of those choices. He's the youngest. Stefan Gilmore is a former DPOY. He could come in and teach Nate Hobbs and teach Jacor Beta and Jack Jones and all these younger guys how to handle themselves, blah, 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 schemes, fits. You know, there are a lot of things to consider when you get free agents and expect them to be what they were last year. You can't just grab them and plug them in. Do they fit the system? Are they still good? Is it just spending money to spend money because you have it? And that's where I get a little nervous with these free agents. Now, people have been waiting post June 1st because we all know that the numbers change for team to team after June 1st. So these guys are free agents, not only because they're, you know, not the cream of the crop, but because people were waiting to get this money, people were waiting till after the draft, and people were waiting till after undrafted free agency. With all that being said, these guys are still on the market for a reason. The reason being, they haven't really wowed anyone on film these past few seasons, or are asking for too much money, or yada yada yada. So, if we were to sign a Stefan Gilmore or Xavier Howard, I think it's not going to be right now, it's going to be closer to preseason, midway through, to get someone in there, once we realize a Jacorian Bennett might not be playing as well as we want to in the preseason or in live practice scrimmaging, blah, blah, blah. I think we are waiting until the time comes to get a vet to trade for somebody to sign somebody. However, we are still coming into $24 million and there are some candidates on the roster that we need to talk about that are due for an extension. Now, a few of these guys I would extend right away and a few I would wait and see because if you remember when Josh McDaniels and Dave Ziegler came into power a couple years ago, right away they extended Max Crosby and Hunter Renfro. One of those obviously stuck around, one of them did not. And that just shows you how terrible the regime was, that they thought Hunter Renfro was going to be a big part of the future and then didn't know how to use him and destroyed him. So with all that being said, four, three, four, three, four, four people that I would consider extending right now to use that post-June 1st money on so we don't have to worry about them testing free agency later, losing them like an Amik Robertson or Josh Jacobs. Let's get some of these guys under contracts right now and then focus our energy on vets later down the road once those vets realize they're not getting the big contracts they want instead of overpaying for them which is why we got Tom Telesco to make sure our salary cap is in order we go get them when the time is right and when the price is right first extension candidate I think without a doubt you gotta lock him up Malcolm Koontz I've already seen enough to show me that this kid is a stud he could be your Robin to the Batman that is Max Crosby he could come in disrupt make plays he was not a flash in the pan last year he's going to be consistently in the backfield he was destroying people one-on-one -on -one. and now just when you thought well if you're gonna have to bring a double to Max 
and Christian Wilkins, there's still going to be one guy on an island. That's Malcolm Koontz. I do not want this guy anywhere near free agency because people will overpay for the type of talent that he is. And we need to make sure that we keep these homegrown guys, these guys that we actually did hit in the draft before this new era because they're few and far between, like the Maxes, right? Like the Colton Millers. And now Malcolm Koontz could be a guy that we bring in here and extend, and he could be a Raider for a long, long time. What do you think about that? Would you extend Malcolm Koontz right now? What would his contract be? The second player I would consider extending Ending right this second is Nate Hobbs. Nate Hobbs is one of the rare corners who can tackle anybody in any field in any time zone. Remember John Gruden? Nate Hobbs isn't a premier outside the numbers corner, but he is a fantastic slot corner and can disrupt in the middle of the field with the very best of them. He's making plays. You know, he's missed, uh, I think, 10 or 11 games in his career, but that's nothing crazy. We could have some cornerback depth if we lock him up and then get some vets like an Xavier Howard or Stephon Gilmore. But Malcolm Kuntz and Nate Hobbs are the first two guys that I wouldn't even consider letting touch free agency. Okay, now I'm going to refer to an article. I believe it's by Silver and Black Pride. Go check them out. They're great. I can't see what I'm reading. And there are two more people here that they discussed and that didn't initially cross my mind, but they give some reasons here as to why we should or should not extend them, the type of player that they are. And the first one is Trayvon Merrick. What they say here is the second round pick has an interesting career so far. The safety was as good as a rookie, yet he struggled in Patrick Graham's defense in 2022. He enjoyed a bounce back season halfway through 2023. He showed ability to be a ball hawking safety game awareness that made him a top prospect at TCU. The Raiders may want to see if Merrick can have another strong season in 2024, especially at a position where there have been a lot of free agents recently. So Trayvon Merrick is a guy that I think is a solid safety in this league. He was you know, playing about as well as you would want a second round pick to come in and play. He came in, he made some plays. I would like to wait until I see him have one more decent season, maybe halfway through this year, if he's playing at an elite level or just a good level, I would hit him with an extension. This is the Hunter Renfro of it all. Hunter Renfro had a couple good seasons. They extended him off a cliff. I don't want that to happen with Trayvon Merrick, especially because the safety position is so important in our division. So Trayvon Merrick, I would consider re-signing, extending, but let's wait and see what he does this season before we consider giving him big time money. The second player they have on here that we should consider extending that didn't cross my mind initially is Divine Diablo. The third round pick had 106 tackles last season and seemed to fit the defense. Yet, he is probably closer to average than elite. He has missed 10 games due to injury in his career. The Raiders probably won't be ready to give Diablo a huge deal. I couldn't agree more. Diablo is a good player. I mean, this him and Trayvon Merrick feel similar. I think Diablo was a later draft pick than Trayvon Merrick, so he's playing above what we thought he could be. And look, linebacker has been tough for us. We got Spillane. We'll see how Eichenberg plays. Spillane could be another guy that we want to extend. That just crossed my mind. Well, here's 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 what we have to consider now. Diablo and Spillane together worked very well. And now with Eichenberg, if Eichenberg can come in and be the guy in the middle and you have Diablo and Spillane, I would consider trying to keep all three of those linebackers together. But if Eichenberg, for whatever reason, can't take the reins right now and we got to make sure that Spillane is still the guy in the middle, then... What do we do with Diablo? Because if we extend Spillane with a lot of money, Diablo might be in limbo. We could give him some money, but he might think he can get more money elsewhere. And he had 106 tackles last year. He's no scrub. He's not terrible. But it all hinges on what Eichenberg's doing. If Eichenberg's good, then that frees us up to maybe let Diablo go, save some money with Eichenberg. There's a lot to consider here, but I want you guys to comment below this. What would you use that post-June 1st $24 million on? Would you go get some vets? Would you trade some people? Would you extend some in-house people? Would you give Max Crosby or Colt Miller a new contract? These are all things to consider. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Check out the Patreon. Patreon.com slash all our Raiders. We are doing stuff in the Discord. You get ad-free content, early access to videos, name at the end of the credits, all great things. If you can't do that or you don't want to, that's okay. You don't have to because you are doing just enough by watching, dropping likes, dropping comments. Please be sure to subscribe. It's free after I'm going to charge to you. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.